Welcome everyone to this uh, Privacy Rules, Privacy Espresso. Here is Alessandro Di Mattia, Legal and Executive Officer at Privacy Rules, joined by Mariano Peruzzotti, our expert from uh, Argentina. Uh, Mariano comes from the law firm uh, Ojan BF uh, and is one of the main experts in privacy uh, from Argentina. So I'm very pleased to have him with us today. Hello, Mariano. Nice to see you. Hi, Alessandro. Thank you very much for the introduction. It's a pleasure to comment on privacy with all of you. Okay, thanks a lot you for being here with us. And today with Mariano, we are going to discuss about various updates from Argentina. So uh, without further delay, Mariano, I think uh, I would go with the first question that is related to the new draft bill from the uh, Argentina Data Protection Authority. So can you tell us a bit more about this uh, uh, legislative initiative and uh, what do you foresee uh, for it? Sure. Uh, let me just give an introduction, a brief introduction. This process in was initiated in August uh, this year. It's an initiative of, of the Argentine Data Protection Authority that had some previous meetings uh, with uh, different stakeholders to analyze a possible reform of the data protection regime. As you may know, we have a very old data protection law that was enacted in year 2000. So uh, an update is needed in a, in a kind of way. And the Argentine Data Protection Authority took the opportunity to discuss a, a, a new bill. After these meetings, the DPA released draft bill on September this year and initiate a public consultation process with the purpose of, of receiving comments to this text. And this open consultation process concluded in October this year. And on November, the Data Protection Authority published a new version of the bill. And this, this is just a a version that considered all the remarks, comments, and, and opinions submitted by, by third parties during the, the open consultation process. This bill inspired on the GDPR, basically follows all the, the, main, the main aspects included in the GDPR, as for instance, the extraterritorial scope of the provisions. We, we, the, the, the bill will have uh, a similar uh, article three of the GDPR regulation. I mean, uh, it will follow uh, the, the same the same spirits, providing that a company that has data processing activities in Argentina will be subject to the provisions of the of the of the, of the data protection law. Uh, also, the, the this bill uh, includes new principles, data processing principle, for instance, the minimization and accountability. It includes a, a, an interesting principle that is called the technology neutrality principle and also expand the legal basis. As you may know, Argentina, the Argentine data protection law that is enforced now, nowadays uh, only relies on consent as a legal basis for the data protection, uh, data, data processing and data collection. Now, uh, this bill will expand, will provide new uh, legal basis as for instance, the legitimate interest. Also, there is a very important aspect to consider is that the bill will impose companies to notify data breaches uh, to the Data Protection Authority without delay and within 72 hours, very similar to the GDPR, as you may know. As to the cross-border data transfers, the bill provides a, a similar scheme to the GDPR, providing uh, adequacy decisions and and also the, the possibility of transferring information to non-adequate countries if any of the mechanism or uh, derogations are, are, are met in a specific case. Also, the DPA has the opportunity to review the, the list of data subject rights. Uh, up, to day, up to date, in the Argentine Data Protection Authority, we have the, the, the limited rights to access rectification update and with uh, and consent with that withdrawal, the, the bill will extend that list, including, for instance, the uh, data portability right, the, the, the right to, to restriction of processing, uh, the right not to be subject to automate decision making or profiling, and the right to object. Uh, finally, the bill includes important institutions, important uh, aspects to consider, for instance, the data protection impact assessment. They need to appoint a data protection officer, as well as the obligation for foreign companies to, in, 
business in Argentina and processing personal data of Argentine data subjects to appoint a representative in, in Argentina. To conclude, there is a, an important aspect to consider is that the, the amount of fines increase considerably and they will be updated annually. Thanks a lot for this brief overview and I hear lots of you know, interesting point and, and changing from uh, from Argentina. And there is one more that, that we would like to discuss today, that is uh, the participation uh, in the uh, new Convention 108. Um, so uh, I would like also to ask you if you can comment briefly also in this process and what does this mean for Argentina? Sure. Um, you know, uh, on November 9th, uh, uh, the, the Argentine Congress uh, approved the incorporation of Argentina to the modernized Convention 108, uh, which, is, which is called Convention 108 Plus. Uh, Argentina uh, is a party of Convention 108 since 2019. Convention 108 Plus was signed by Argentina in year 2019, but the ratification by the Congress was pending. Now, with this uh, approval of the Argentine Congress, we can say that we are just about to be incorporated as a new member of Convention 108 Plus. Now the executive branch uh, and must fulfill all the proceedings according to the Convention 108 to be incorporated uh, as, as, a, as a formal member, but we estimate that this will happen in the coming days or months. But from a local perspective, all the, 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 the proceedings and steps will, will, will complete, will, were completed. So to the, your second question, this uh, once this, 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 all these steps are completed, I think that Argentina will be in a position to consider amending the law in order to fulfill all the conditions that, that are included in Convention 108 Plus, as for instance, the obligation to report a security breach, because uh, according to the current data protection law, there is no obligation for a company that has faced a, a breach to report this to the local authorities. So there are many aspects that will have to be incorporated, harmonized in the, into the Argentine legislation uh, in the coming months. Perfect. And just uh, in uh, one minute or a little more, uh, last question I have for you. Uh, there is some more news coming from Argentina. So can you can you tell us a bit more also about this, something very recent? Sure. You know, uh, on this week, the Argentine Data Protection Authority incorporated a, a web form uh, for the registration of individuals or legal entities that process personal data of Argentine uh, citizens, uh, but are not established in the in the territory. Uh, up to date, we have the, this uh, registration uh, obligation that was mandatory for local companies collecting personal information to report the data processing activities with the Argentine Data Protection Authority. Any for foreign company was not available to to access to this platform and to report the data protection activities. So. Uh, this has changed. Now there is a possibility for foreign entities to, to report, foreign entities and individuals, I mean foreign data controllers, to, to report their data processing activities with the Argentine Data Protection Authority. And well, this is very important new because that, that will be an obligation for, for any, any, any foreign company uh, doing business in Argentina. To, to comply with this obligation. The, the registration of database is similar to the former registry or records that were created by the European authorities, for instance, the Spanish Agency for Data Protection or the ICO in the UK before the GDPR. So we, we still have this record, this registration, according to the draft bill that I commented before, this will not be enforced if the new bill will be enacted in the, in the future. Although there is a, a, a different registration for, for foreign entities or and companies that will have to appoint a DPO, but generally the fact of reporting all your data processing activities will be not enforced if the new bill will be enacted by the Congress. Mariano, thanks a lot for this quick overview. Uh, extremely interesting, in particular because those news are very fresh, I would say. Uh, thanks for being with us, for, to Mariano Perusotti from Mojambief, Argentina. Thanks to our listeners for following this Privacy Espresso. I really look forward to meet you all in our next episode next week. Bye, everyone, and bye, Mariano, again. Thank you. Bye, everyone.